Which way am I looking, looking at you? Me. Okay, great. Right. Give us your general thoughts on the upcoming season. Well, very optimistic, very excited about it. Um, you know, I know we're, we're not picked in the in top half of the conference, but, uh, you know, that's okay. We've never um, worried about other people's expectations, only ourselves. And we feel like we've set a, a standard of excellence there that, uh, you know, we'll, we're going to compete every year. And we're 5-3 and three in the league last year. And I think we've got a better team this upcoming year. So with your quarterback back and a lot of guys, skill guys surrounding him, uh, you know, we'll have a chance every week. What do you like most about your team this year? I like the fact that, uh, you know, more of the team chemistry, you know, and, and now we've got guys that can run and we've got some depth. Um, some things we haven't had is a lot, especially on defense over the past uh, couple of years. But, uh, you know, we've had over 90 guys on campus uh, this past month and a half, and that's something we haven't had in the past. And a lot of it had to do with we were funded for some summer school that really helped keep guys on campus. And uh, so that, that continuing workout throughout the summer um, has got to pay off for us this year. What is the biggest challenge for your team this year? Uh, you know, we've got the, I won't say the, the big three or four or whatever, but the, the teams, uh, you got your Jacksonville State, your East Kentucky, East Illinois on the road this year, uh, you know, which can be tough places to play. Uh, those are games you're going to, you know, have to play well and have a chance to, to win the conference. But, uh, you know, you can't worry about that. You can't change the schedule. But that will be a definitely a challenge for us. What are your general impressions of the OVC race this year? Uh, you know, it starts in, you know, I always vote in uh, Jacksonville State number one, uh, and you just go from there based on uh, tradition and resources. I think that everybody's going to vote them number one, and then you're, you're chasing from there. But just like last year, I think, I don't know what Southeast Missouri was preseason ranked last year, and they win the league, and they're still in the top 25. So I think that's neat, and that's kind of where we were in 2006. Uh, you know, came from nowhere, win the league, go to the playoffs. So uh, it's kind of fun to uh, for all of us to have an opportunity to, uh, you know, p uh, play in the playoffs, and it's a, it's a neat system. Last season, your team won the Sergeant York Trophy. Tell us about that and also how important it is to defend that trophy this year. Well, very proud of that. That's the first time, even though in the four years they've had it, uh, UT Martin has won the most games uh, out of the series. It's the first time we've actually taken the trophy home based on tiebreakers and, and things of that nature. So it was very important to us. Uh, you know, it's important for bragging rights, recruiting purposes in the state of Tennessee. Uh, but more importantly, and um, you know, you need to win that to have a chance to go on in the playoffs. And, you know, five and three is what we were. You know, we can get one more of those other games on the road, then that gets you six and two, maybe seven and one, and, and then you're hoping you get that bid on Sunday morning after the playoffs. So to, to be able to get it again would be huge to keep it on our campus, but also from the playoff um, implications will be very important. Four of your first five games are at home. Tell us a little about your schedule and how it plays out for your team this year. Uh, you know, strategically set it up like that. Uh, from the standpoint, in my five years as head coach UT Martin, uh, you know, we've had a nine-win season, eight-win season. Uh, when we got off good momentum early, sometimes I think you can play off that momentum later on in the season. And, uh, you know, you can kind of fake it till you make it type deal. Maybe you're not as good as your record indicates, but you played the games at home and you scratched out a win. By the end of the season, you believe you're that good and you've worked out some of the kinks and then you go on the road and, and, and you know, try to be road warriors and uh, win on the road. Uh, and I also like the fact that our, that our BCS, our guarantee game against Mississippi State is later on in November. Uh, that gives you a chance to, uh, like I said, gain some confidence, uh, you know, have that winning record, have some momentum as, you know, you push your way through late October and November for a playoff run. Your quarterback, Derek Carr, put up some impressive numbers in his first year as a starter. In what ways do you expect him to improve this season? You know, I, his numbers will improve just because, um, you know, physically he's better, mentally he's better. Um, you know, but what he means to our team from a leadership standpoint is, um, you know, you can't put a number beside that. Uh, he's a winner. The the guy, uh, his his coaches respect him. His teammates respect him. His uh, he leads our team not only by example, but with his tremendous faith that he has as a as a, as a Christian, as a spiritual person. Uh, you know, I wouldn't trade him for another quarterback in the league.